Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you part two of my farmhouse dining room. And I have a few more things to go over than I did last week because there's more changes that I'm going to show you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so if you remember, this was a brick wall, a, a faux brick wall that we had installed for the previous dining room. And my dryer that was in this dining room was not vented properly. And so over time, these brick panels started pulling away from the wall and I don't know if it was because of the dryer that's what I'm blaming it on because of the the moisture um anyhow they started buckling I mean you could literally like see the buckles on these brick panels and so combining that with me wanting a new look it was time to take down the brick panels so they were pretty while they were up and I enjoyed it and it wasn't very costly. So anyhow, I installed, my sister and I installed beadboard and this wainscoting or beadboard, whatever you call it, is such a economical way to add a farmhouse or even cottage look, you guys. So it is, so pretty and I will say though a disclaimer it was very challenging to install this beadboard versus like something like this what's behind me that's just one piece that you're working with one piece at a time which makes it so much easier to where installing sheets of beadboard it was a challenge for my sister and I to install these and not to mention that we are not professionals. We don't know what we're doing. So I'm sure that made it uh, all, all the more challenging, but we finished it and we did it and got this wainscoting wall up, which freshened up the dining room so much um, with the brick it was kind of a, in a way, more of a dingier look. And like I said, it was buckling the brick. Anyhow, now it's got this fresh white beadboard up. And on the window, we installed this farmhouse trim and the trim, you guys, is very charming, very farmhouse. And that was not too bad to install. Got that done. And let's talk about the curtains. The curtains are very nice. They are 100% linen and they're white and they definitely give a fresh, crisp look to this farmhouse and in a little bit I'm going to go over really quick some things that I'm wanting to do different because it's very hard to just nail a room right off but right now I'm going to go over what we have got done. I've got this Hoosier cabinet that if you remember in the French dining room it held a lot of plants um, I've got it here now and it's displayed with these adorable soaps inside the cabinet and the white dishes on top. I had picked those up, those, um, casserole dishes at a thrift store that I got half off. If you guys may remember that haul, anyhow, this lamp on this Hoosier cabinet. I just recently thrifted at our junkie thrift store. I needed a lamp for my dining room and found this. And I think I paid around $7 for it. So 
when you pay that kind of a price, if you get tired of it, it's not like you're changing out a $50 lamp. And it is very unique and has a cozy look and it's got the pleated lampshade as well, which seems to be popular right now. And let's talk about these platters. So as you can tell, I'm going with white dishes out here. And I had a lot of platters that had various colors or prints on them. And I had the idea just flip all the platters and show the backs of them. So it gave a lot of creams and whites vibe to these platters and hid all the color and such a cute way to display my collection of platters. And then if I ever want to show the color again, I still, I still have them. You can just turn them around. This cow picture helped out this dining room so much. If you remember, I got this from my sister and I showed this in a haul. I got it for, I think, $10. This picture really helps set the tone for my new farmhouse dining room and just the cow scene and it just gives an old vintage look to this dining room. And I had a hard time finding a spot for this um, little tin basin, but finally found a spot above the this picture and it looks cute here against the, the beadboard. Okay, these blue chairs. I added the blue chairs out there. If you remember, I added the white ones inside my living room. And now the blue ones are out there in the new farmhouse dining room. And the blue works well out there. The blue is very uh, farmhouse, okay? And my boys hang out, out in this dining room. So the blue helps camouflage a lot of the, uh, just boy, like what goes on out there. They're rougher, they're messy. And so these blue chairs work great out here. And I've got these striped, farmhouse throws through over these chairs and I think these throws are very farmhouse. Okay, the baskets in between. The bottom basket is one I have showed you guys that I got at an, an uh, I don't know if it's an antique store, kind of an antique store here in a town not too far from us. And this basket is very beautiful and these baskets kind of bring a cottage vibe blended in with the farmhouse. And this plant on top was part of a plant that my husband had brought home flowers and this plant was in there. So I rescued out that little plant, repotted it, and now it's making its home in my dining room. And the rug, is to me the rug is cottage so the rug is going to help pull in some cottage vibe from the rest of my house and yeah this rug is from target and it's got kind of a print to it which i think need the dining room needs this print out here and yeah, this is my part two of my new farmhouse dining room. Now, really quick, I'm going to go over some of the things I would do differently. The white linen curtains are beautiful, but what I originally wanted was a cafe style curtain that would go inside the window and not hang all the way to the floor, just a definite cafe curtain. Therefore, oops, it would show off my beautiful farmhouse window trim. 
So let me know what you guys think about that. Do you like the white linen curtains or do you think I should add the cafe curtains that hang inside the window and show off the trim? Okay, let me know. And I'm even thinking of maybe a print for those cafe curtains. Okay, just some, some ideas. I've got another idea of maybe hanging like a printed shade behind the white curtains that kind of can draw up. So you've got the printed shade behind the white linen. Okay, so that's a change I'm wanting to make. And the beadboard is painted a very crisp white and it looks fresh, okay? But I'm thinking maybe that beadboard needs to be painted my cream trim color. Thinking the beadboard needs to be cream like this window trim, but then of course the window trim won't stand out as much, so then you've got that issue as well. So a couple things I'm wanting to change. So, but it looks beautiful and it's so much fresher and it's definitely a work in progress, but I'm keeping it put together and pretty for what I have done right now. Thank you guys for being here for part two of my new farmhouse dining room. This is definitely gonna be a work in progress, but thank you guys for being here and for coming along. And thank you for being here as I create Cottage Diaries.